Hello, this is Nanny again reading Pop's Shop. Jenny was in Pop's shop. She was helping Pop. At dinner time, he said, I must go out now. Can you look after the shop for me? And Jenny said, yes. So Pop went out and Jenny was all alone in the shop. The door opened and a crocodile came in. The crocodile smiled a horrible smile. His great big teeth were all black. Jenny thought, help, he's going to eat me up. But she said, good morning, sir, can I help you? Yes, said the crocodile. I want lots of toothpaste because I have so many teeth. Jenny got him lots of toothpaste and a toothbrush. But the crocodile said, that brush is too small for my big teeth. So Jenny found an enormous brush. Then the crocodile said, goodbye, little girl. I won't eat you now. I always clean my teeth before I eat little girls. He went out of the shop. The door opened again and in came a dragon carrying a big black box. He had big flames coming out of his mouth. Jenny said, good morning, sir. Can I help you? Yes, said the dragon. I want lots of ice cream because I'm so hot. So Jenny got lots of ice cream from the freezer. The dragon was so pleased with the ice cream that he gave Jenny the big black box. What is inside it? asked Jenny. Look and see, said the dragon. And Jenny was just going to look inside the big black box when the door opened and in came... A witch, dressed in black. She had a wand, a broomstick and a black cat. Jenny thought, oh, what a horrible witch. I don't like her at all. But she said, good morning, madam. Can I help you? The witch said, yes, I want a black hat. She tried on lots of hats, but she did not like any of them. The witch shouted, these are not witches' hats. She got so cross that she threw the hats on the floor and jumped on them and shouted and screamed. Then she saw the big black box. She screamed, I want that black box. Jenny said, I'm sorry, you can't have it. But the witch screamed, I want it, I want it. Then the witch waved her wand and said, Abracadabra. And at that moment, everything in the shop went white and frosty. Jenny was frozen. She could not move. But the dragon was not frozen because he was so hot. And the witch picked up the black box and ran out of the shop. And the dragon ran after the witch. The witch jumped on her broomstick and flew in the air. The dragon flew after her. The witch and the dragon flew high in the sky. They flew over towns and trains and they flew past clouds and plains. The dragon flew nearer and nearer to the witch. He had big flames coming out of his mouth. Then the broomstick caught fire. The witch and the broomstick and the big black box began to fall. The dragon caught the big black box and carried it back to Pop's shop. Everything in the shop was still white and frosty, so the dragon blew and blew. He blew flames all around the shop until everything melted and Jenny could move again. She was just going to look inside the big black box when the door opened and in came the crocodile. He smiled a horrible smile. A great big teeth were all white and clean. Jenny thought, help, he's going to eat me up. But the dragon chased the crocodile out of the shop and far away. Then the door opened again and in came Pop. So Pop and Jenny opened the big black box and looked inside. It was full of treasure.